Last week, Friday, on the 8th of March, we had what's called an outside reversal day, bearish engulfing outside reversal day in semiconductor stocks like NVIDIA and others. And in this video, I want to touch on a little bit what that may mean, but I also want to define what exactly is an outside reversal day and why it sometimes can be of significance. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll take a look at a few uh, individual uh, sort of situations. Uh, well, we can look at the SMH ETF first, uh, or actually this is NVIDIA, excuse me. And we can start with this first because it's really the most prominent one that we saw on Friday, which then uh, trickled over into, of course, semiconductor complex as a whole, thus over into the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, uh, and so forth. And um, what we saw is basically Friday's price action last Friday started like any other day this year. Uh, you know, basically equ equities acted well, in this case gapped up, new all-time highs. But then within about 45 minutes or so, we started to see some profit taking. NVIDIA came within $27 of the 1,000 mark and then started stalling out and reversing. What uh, was at some point about a 5% up day for NVIDIA ended up being about a down 5.5% day. So you can do the math. That's about a 10.5% intraday swing for NVIDIA. Why is it important? Well, what what's important about it is to notice that the behavior of investors uh, is being very clearly represented here <clears throat> on the chart. And so, uh, again, you saw uh, investors becoming very exuberant, pushing, in this case, the equity higher, uh, but that very quickly ran out of steam, meaning there was no more buyers left up there. And then the reversal was so sharp that it actually completely fully engulfed the previous day's price action, and in this case, even the day prior to that. So what took about, you know, not quite two days to go up was erased in essentially about one day. That's typically what we tend to see, uh, escalator up, elevator down kind of thing. <clears throat> now, what now, right, is I guess the point. First of all, it's one day's worth of price action, and, you know, in no shape or form should that be taken as the, you know, only signal to take that this is now the end for this particular stock or the stock market in general, and it's just down from here. That's really not the point. The point is to sit up and take notice and say, you know what? The buyers got exhausted. In this case, NVIDIA reached almost $1,000, so that's psychologically important. Um, many equities, particularly the, the big runners like the semiconductors, are, are technically very stretched. So why not maybe take some profits, right? So the outside bear reversal stays now give us both the bulls and the bears a good reference point. The bulls will say, okay, uh, as long as we don't overcome or at least not attempt to overcome those intraday highs from last Friday, um, we now have a line in the sand. For the bears, it's kind of the same thing, right? Um, if we get above those highs again, the bears should throw in their towel and say, you know what, this trend's going to continue. So what becomes important is the ensuing number of days of trading. Because, again, it's one day worth of price action. This case happened on a Friday. Friday is always a bit of a weird sort of day with a lot of different things happening. But what we would need to see here is some sort of follow through now. Uh, follow through either to the downside, uh, meaning more selling for a day, two, three, or just some sort of you know, continuation to confirm that that was an important day. And if that doesn't happen, if the market quickly reverses back up, then it was just a one-day blip. So that's important. Now, the way we track trends is critically important when it comes to this because there are plenty of instances where days like these have marked a, an important top, not maybe the top, and that's again, that's not the point, but a trading top. And so what can be a trading top can turn into a trending top at some point over time. So we're going to show you our technology this week in a special presentation where we showcase to you how we can take, among other things, days like these as a warning sign, uh, plug them into our technology, and make sure we continue to track the trend. At some point, and this is not an imminent forecast, but at some point, 
these stocks will change their trend from bullish to maybe a neutral trend, which in the bigger picture is really important because then the momentum has stalled. So if you're interested in using technology to help improve the process of you trading and investing, we would love to have you uh, in our special session and discussion this week where we show you how we like to use technology to improve our trading and investing process. We'll see you there.